Time's gonna fly by. You won't even get a chance to miss me. I love you. I love you more. We did everything in the wrong order. Pretty much. And I get that you're scared. I'm not scared anymore. I know you hate accepting help, but the fact is, we can't do all of this on our own. Now, first, we need to get all the stuff out of the bait shop. Yeah, I can do that. Right, and then we need to find a new spot for it here at the caravan park. You don't have to do that. Dad, we're all trying to help you here. Would you please just let us? Alf's really struggling, isn't he? It's been one thing after another lately. This whole run of bad luck, it started that day in the hospital. Haven't we moved on from all this? Yeah, but I can't help but feel like it's my fault. I wish that there was something I could do to help. What's up? Good, and up. Wow, you must be ripping his clothes off every chance you get. <laughs> so how is it? What? You know what? Is it all lust? Is he really sensitive? Does he buy you flowers? Does he like a bit of pillow talk? Dana. OK. Lovely, all right. Thanks, guys. What do you guys talk about? You can't all be the baby. Wow, you must be really missing Xander. Aren't you meant to be watching the surf? Well, I might as well be, since you're not coughing anything juicy up here. Mm. <sighs> How's the mother of my child doing? Oh. I do have a name, you know. Hello, son. Oh. Hey, did you want to do something tonight? Maybe catch a movie? Oh, he's kicking. He's kicking. He knows it's me. How cool is that? You know it's your dad, eh, boy? I see it all the time with my older patients. Their resilience takes a hit, and it's really hard for and them to bounce back. Stop. You are not responsible for hiking the rent up at the bait shop. I'm talking about how else coping. But I could contribute financially, help take some of the stress off him. R Remy, are you listening? Yes. Hmm? It's going to be OK. You make it sound so easy. All right, well, why don't we go see how we can help? Thank you. Hey, how did you and Justin go? Oh, pretty good. We packed the whole joint up. You'd never know I was ever there. Onwards and upwards, eh? Listen, uh, you know, the sheds we were looking at last night, I've got some quotes here for you to look at, and I reckon I know a good place for it to go. I've had the van taken off the slab, so you can look at that later. Uh, uh, can I just uh, take a minute? Anyway, any of those would be good, I reckon. I don't want anything flash, all right? I, I just want an ordinary shed. Yeah, but you don't want something cheap either, you know, it's going to fall apart in a few years. You want something that'll last. Uh, I suppose this one's all right. Yeah, I, I like that one too. Truth? Is that the price? 35 grand, yeah. But, it, Dad, it's got the full fit out. You want to come lined with gold for that sort of money. Well, building prices have gone up in the last yeah, few look, years. Yeah, it's not going to happen. What? I'm going to go back to clearing out the old shed. Oh, come on, Dad. Rue, we've got a perfectly good building already there, right there. Why the hell would I go to the trouble of building a new one? <clears throat> you right there, Justin? Oh, yeah, I was just helping Alf clear stuff out of the bait shop. You know he's relocating to the caravan park. No, I did not. As usual, I'm the last to hear of these things. Although I'm not too upset about missing out. That'll keep me away from the heavy lifting. Oh, well. I wouldn't worry about that. There'll be plenty of chances for you to chip in. Did I sound worried? <laughs> Rue's got these big plans to build the new bait shop out the caravan park. Yeah, I did have big plans. Dad is refusing to pay for the shed. Nothing wrong with being careful with your money. Yeah, and, and get this. He wants to run the new bait shop out of the old shed where we store the gardening gear. Oh, no, hang on, hang on. That's where we just dumped all the stuff. I thought that was temporary. Apparently not. <laughs> well, how's that going to work? Well, it's not going to work, but I can't talk him out of it. You can be very persuasive when you try. No, he's adamant he's not going to pay for the fancy shed. I mean, you know how stubborn he is? Well, I reckon that's where you get it from, Rue. <laughs> 
I don't think anyone's changing his mind this time. Ooh. Oh, goodness. What a sad sight, playing pool on your own. Is that an offer to join me? I don't know, maybe it's a challenge. Prepare to be beaten. <laughs> well, that's not likely, but you can give it a go. What do you think of long distance? You know, like, how do you think people do it, actually do it? Because I've been doing it for three days and it's feeling like forever. Me and Xander. Ah, uh, right. Yep, I heard he was away. Yeah, he is away. Okay, so usually to start, I'll flip a coin. Or you just oh. start, yep. Mm. Oh, are you going to go for that one? Yeah, I was just about to. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, that might be Xander. Oh, it is. Oh, he wants me to come to Melbourne for the weekend. Not good as long distance. You know, I mean, this is a perfect little mini break. Hey, uh, you know, it sounds like you've got a you've got a trip to plan. So I'm going to leave you to it. Oh, no. OK, bye. You know what? I just wish Dad would spend the cash and treat himself. Can't take your money with you. Exactly. Yeah, well, you're getting on. You might as well spend it while you can. Thanks for that. Yeah. Rue, hi. Uh, we were actually on the way to your place. We were hoping to talk to you about Elf. Uh, sorry, I'm in the middle of something here. Oh, this won't take long. That okay? <laughs> yep, so what's going on? Well, we heard about what's happening with the bait shop. Yeah, how can we help? Um, well, I don't think you can. Um, just trying to build a new bait shop at the caravan park and Dad's being stubborn about it. Mm. Why? Because it's too expensive. OK, uh, how much money are we talking about? $35,000. Wow, I didn't think it would be that much. Yeah, I can pay for that. What? Yeah, and your dad wouldn't have to know about it, would he? Yeah, I'd prefer if he didn't. OK, I'm sorry, I have... No idea why you're Can you please just think about it? We would really love to help. Okay, you know what? I mean, I I don't think it's appropriate or right to accept money from you. So thank you for the offer. It's very kind, but no. Um, <laughs> Xander, it's summertime. Why am I bringing a coat? Yeah, uh, well, I just didn't even think we were going to leave the bedroom. No, I'm just saying I've got plenty of ideas to keep us warm without a jacket. No, I actually have to go. Yeah, I'll call you back. All right. Love you. You were right. Oh, I always am. Might need you to be a bit more specific, though. If we're not talking about the baby, Tana and I have nothing to say to each other. It's all about where we are in the pregnancy, when the next scan is, baby names. That's not good. But no, it's not. OK. Have you tried changing the topic? Yes. OK. All right. Well, then, I think you need to maybe ban the whole conversation. I know. Set yourself a little goal. 24 hours, you can't talk about the baby or pregnancy. We may as well take a vow of silence. Ty is a hot, interesting guy, no? So? So? He should have some hot, interesting things to talk about, right? You can do this. Come on, I know you can. Rue took off in a bit of a rush after your chat. How is that any of your business? Wait, what am I talking about? You're in everyone's business, right? What do you want about? I know it was you who dobbed us into the cops. Wouldn't be the first time we've had a complaint about our music. Well, I may have had something to say in the past. And... <laughs> Mate, why couldn't you just come and knock on the door, tell us to turn it down? Because it wasn't me who called in the complaint. Come on. I was actually enjoying the tunes last night. There, you didn't expect me to say that, did you? No, I didn't. Well, the couple at number 26 have just had another baby, so maybe it was them. Ah, yeah, that'd make sense. Um, sorry. Apology accepted. Bye, John. See you, Palmer. Well, today's going well. Mm. I haven't put one foot right. Hey, 
What you tried to do for Elf was amazing. It's clear that Rue hasn't forgiven me for what happened. Elf's the one she's selling short. Sure. Can't she see that? Dad, you know, if, if that's the shed you want, I'm happy to order it for you. I've already told you, Rue, these prices are daylight robbery. I know they're not cheap, but you should get what you want. You've earned it. For the last time, I don't want anything flash. It's just about to put these where they belong. Oh, come on. That's it, Rue. It's finished. You're in my heart. You're in my soul. So this is like a challenge. If you want to think of it like that, yeah. 24 hours with no baby talk. But why is that a bad thing? You know, why can't we talk about it? I mean, it's not off the table forever. Yeah, but I can't help being excited about our boy. No, of course, and th me either. But there are other conversation topics. Mm. All right. Well, do you want to go first then? What do you mean? Do you have something to say? I just thought we could make more of an effort to talk about other things <laughs> when they come up. Right. Right. I see. Obviously, that doesn't have to happen right now. Yeah, but it's something to work on. Exactly. Yeah. I remembered there's something that I have to do, so... It's gonna be good. I'm gonna come see where you work. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit at the bar and talk your ear off. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Half this here. Yes. Yeah, I'm counting the minutes till I get on that plane. Okay, bye. Bye. Tana and I have nothing to say to each other. Okay. I thought that you were going to give it 24 hours. Yeah, well, I just gave it 24 seconds and the silence was deafening. And you know what? I didn't have anything to say either. It's a baby or crickets. Okay. Um, uh, you, were, you were friends before you got pregnant, right? So what did you talk about then? Mm -hmm. Perry, training, fostering, Tana's court case, his marriage. Oh, so only stuff about Tana, nothing about you? Well, he had a lot going on. Yeah, but I think now it's high time he brings a little romance into this relationship, don't you? Yeah, I wouldn't say no to that. Yeah, you shouldn't just be listening to him talk about his problems all the time. You should be wined and dined. I mean, non-alcoholic, obviously, but the thing we won't talk about. I can't just order Tane to take me out to a fancy dinner. It is the 21st century. Why not? We're going to the club. I'll see you later. OK, um, just before you go, are you sure you don't want to crunch some numbers and see if we can get this shit? I threw those in the bin. I got them out of the bin. Yeah, well, put them back, eh? No. No, I'm not going to. Well, I mean, why do you have to be so stubborn? Are you looking for me? Uh, I wanted to see Rue, actually. She's all yours. Bye. Is that the shed Alf wants? Is that why you're here? I don't know why you turned us down. Well, I think I made myself pretty clear. Given everything that's happened, it doesn't feel right. Right. So you're knocking back a perfectly good offer just to punish Bree a little more. <laughs> this has nothing to do with punishing Bree. Kind of seems like it. OK. Um, Look, you very kindly shared that something is going on with Bree, and I hope she's getting on top of it. Yes. But I do not feel comfortable with this arrangement. Even if Alf loses out. Look, Bree is bending over backwards trying to make amends here. I'm trying to help her do that. Is it really worth Alf missing out just so you can prove the point? Right, so what? So harpsichord? Yeah, that was Dana's nickname for me when I was little. Wow, really? And wait, what? So you're the musical one in the family? No, no, the opposite. She literally buried my recorder in the backyard so that I could never play it again. Right. Well, so where did the name come from then? She just thought it sounded cute and then it stuck. Oh, it is. It's kind of cute. I'll give her that. Thank you. Wow. All the things I didn't know about you. That is exactly the point of all of this. Yeah. We took the fast track to get to where we are now. You skipped over a lot of things. But I, 
don't always talk about just the baby, though, do I? You broke the magic rule. Oh, I did. You have to give me $5. What? Well, like a swear jar? Yeah, it is now, so come on, pay up. No. <laughs> just so you know, I love that you're so excited about the word that I'm not going to oh, say. Oh, I thought I was about to get my money back for a sec there. Mm. I just feel like we need to fill the gaps. Yeah, how are you ever going to hack into my bank account if you don't know the name of the first street I live on? No, I don't want to be a stranger. Yeah, I don't want to be a stranger. No, I don't want to be a stranger. I just want to be yours. <laughs> As official band Groofy, that sounded awesome. Yeah, it's coming along. It's certainly going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. <laughs> Rude, hi. Hi. Um, can I have a word? Yeah, yeah, mate. Do you mind giving us five? Yeah, yeah, easy. Thanks, mate. Sorry. <laughs> um, listen, I, I think I was quite rude before. You made a very kind offer and I shot you down pretty quickly. It's OK. We get it. But it was a very generous offer and I'm wondering if it's still on the table. Yeah, of course it is. Well, then I would gratefully like to accept on my father's behalf. Yeah, I reckon this boost is going to do half the world of good. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we want to have to get his dream bait shot. Then we're on the same page. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure. It's very generous. Um, look, I'm going to make a lot of phone calls now. Shall we get yeah. it happening? Yeah, let us know how you go. I will. There. Yeah. Did I say thank you? No, but I'm happy to accept gratitude in whichever way it comes. All in that. Well, that thing and our rehearsals are done for the day. Boy, and I knack. What knack it? I've been sweeping the old bake shop out. It's my contribution to the relocation. Hmm. You all right? No. I was supposed to go to Melbourne this weekend and Xander just cancelled on me. Has something happened? I don't know. He just said it wasn't a good time to visit. Uh, yeah, well, that seems like a rain check. Well, cancellation. Yeah, I hate long-distance relationships. Yeah, well, it won't be forever. No, it's not forever, but it is the first time we were going to see each other since he left. And how long has it been? Three days. Three? However will you cope? I just don't understand. Oh, oh, oh. You don't think I've been in your shoes? I was in the Navy. Let me tell you something. You won't go the distance if you can't make it through the first week. Okay, so I've got news. I've just accepted an anonymous donation to build Dad's shed. Uh -huh. <laughs> it want to be a sizable donation. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. Um, but there is one problem. You see, it's going to take more than three months for the shed to be delivered and installed, right? And we can't wait that long, which is where you guys come in. Can you build this? No. <laughs> You want us to build that from scratch? Yeah, or something like it. I mean, use that as inspiration. Uh, well, hang on. I think I'm missing the point. If Elf doesn't want to pay for this, mm. how do we get it past it? No, no, we don't. We don't tell him. How do you manage that? You let me worry about it. You're saying that like it's easy. You just need to keep your mouth shut, OK? Bad chance of that <laughs> on Palmer's big mouth. Did not see you come in. <laughs> so what's the big secret? There's no secret. I'm just halfway through an amusing old naval anecdote. Yes, and I told you to keep quiet because it's so boring. <laughs> yeah. They don't get more interesting second time around. Than... You don't have to convince me of that. Yeah, come on, I'll walk you home. I was going to get a cuppa. I know, I'm going to get a cup of tea at home. Come on, see you, bye. Right on. See you later. See you, mate. There is enormous potential here for this to blow up in our faces. It's still early. Want to go for a walk on the beach? Well, actually, I was thinking maybe we could just head straight home. Hmm. I like that idea.
Me. Do you mind? You all right? I'll see you at home. Thank you. What happened? Sander bailed on our first weekend. First time we were going to see each other. I'm sorry. I know you were looking forward to it. Do you think we're over? Let's take a look at your baby boy. Is everything all right? I just need to ask the doctor a question. I'll be right back. Why would she need to see the doctor? Fetus is 26 weeks, Neil prior history with scans, mother Neil known history. If you could recommend a specialist who can help me, I'd really appreciate it. This is urgent. Connor, it's Dana. Everything all right? We're still at the hospital. Dana, is there something wrong? We just need you to get here as quick as possible. Anniversary, Dr. Fowler. What a god! <laughs> I just wanted you to know how important you are to me. Meeting you changed my life. I was supposed to go to Melbourne this weekend and Xander just cancelled on me. I hate long distance relationships. And how long has it been? Three days. However, will you cope? I just don't understand. You won't go the distance if you can't make it through the first week. Xander bailed on our first weekend. I know you were looking forward to it. I think we're over. Well, we heard about what's happening with the bait shop. Dad's being stubborn about it. Why? Because it's too expensive. I can pay for that. I've just accepted an anonymous donation to build Dad's shed. Uh -huh. <laughs> can you build this? You want us to build that from scratch? Yeah, or well, something like it. If Elf doesn't want to pay for this, mm. how do we get it past it? No, no, we don't. We don't tell him. There is enormous potential here for this to blow up in our faces. Who says an anniversary only has to last one day? I love how your mind works. Mm. This is incredible. And it's just the beginning. You see, Dr. Levi, I've had an incredible urge to spend more time with you. Mm. And as a doctor, I would strongly encourage that urge. Well, I'm very glad you agree because I did the impossible and managed to reorganize the rosters. Even though you're under staff? Mm-hmm. And trust me, oh, it was not easy. You're amazing. And I'm all yours for tonight, all of tomorrow. So please tell me that you have tomorrow. Don't worry. I'm all yours, too. I feel like I should have seen it coming. We were too happy for too long. What did Xander actually say? That he was cancelling our weekend in Melbourne. That's it. Dana, it's one weekend. No, it's the beginning of the end. He was so casual about cancelling. Like, it didn't matter. He's just started an internship. He's busy. Yeah, he's too busy to miss me. I mean, does he... Does he actually care? Of course he does. It's only been a few days and you've been working for most of them. Is it possible you're reacting this way because some of your past boyfriends treated you badly? Because Xander's not like that. He is crazy about you. I'm lonely. You have me? Mm. 
but you're not him. I don't want to let anybody down. Ruth wouldn't have picked you for the job if she didn't think that you were capable. Uh -huh. Sounds like Ruth tells you in about tomorrow. Yes, that's where we're putting it. Marilyn has the job of keeping Alf away from the construction site. Yes, and I don't like my job, and I don't like lying to Mr Stewart. Marilyn, it is not lying, it's a surprise. So if Marilyn fails, Ruth's plan to surprise Alf goes belly up. Good <laughs> luck all. with that. Yeah, thank you, John. No one asked you. Ignore him, Maz. You're going to do great, all right? And there is no way Alf is going to be mad once he sees what we're going to build. Mm, wow. Well, I hope you're right. Mm. So we're definitely doing it. Yeah, we are. Uh, by the way, did Rue happen to mention, like, where the money's coming from? She just said something about a donation. Yeah, that's what she said to us, but who do we know who's got that sort of dosh? Does it matter where the money is coming from? What's wrong with a bit of mystery? Marilyn, when you're running a project as big as this, it's best to have all the facts. You know, if anyone's running this project, John, it's Justin. OK, guys, let's not fight amongst ourselves, OK? Tomorrow's going to be a big day. Yes, and <laughs> we need to stick together if we're going to pull this off. Yeah, we do. Nice day for it. Sorry, John can't chat. Got to go shower and change. Yeah, big plans, hey? Hot date with Harper. Actually, we got our ultrasound scan today. I get to see my little boy again. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen a more excited, expectant dad. That's one lucky baby. Hey, I'm the lucky one. Yeah, I got big plans too. I'm working on a project with a couple of mates. Top secret, don't ask. Hi. How are you? Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it warms my heart to see you two together. Mm, that's really sweet. Who would have thought getting pregnant was the secret to falling in love? Anyway, John, we won't keep you. Yep, 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 okay. Have a good one. <laughs> How's you going with Dana? Uh, long story short, she needs cheering up. In fact, I was wondering about today. You want to take her along for this one? Do you mind? I think she really needs it. Yeah, that's all good. Hopefully it cheers her up. Oh, I know my sister. This will do the trick. What? Nothing. I was just checking you were still breathing. Well, I thought that you were sick of hearing me complain. I had hoped this would put you in a better mood. Well, it's not exactly a weekend away with my boyfriend. I guess I ditched Tani for no reason then. That is not what I'm saying. I love that you invited me. I think it's very cool that Tana said yes. I'm just thinking about Xander cancelling and what it means. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, but you don't know that. Well, I'm glad you could be here. And that you could be a part of this for your nephew. What did you say? Sorry? A boy. We're having a boy. We're having a boy! <laughs> You know where it is? Bruce said it was the only slab in here, so that looks like it over there. It's not like her to leave anything to chance. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's Ruth. Check it up on us. <laughs> <laughs> she runs a tight ship. While we do all the hard work. Well, to be fair, she is dealing with the council. I hope we're doing the right thing. How do you mean? Well, Alf asked for something simple, and here we are going behind his back doing the exact opposite. Afraid you're gonna cop an earful? Well, he's had a pretty rough run lately. I hope we don't make things worse. Well, this may not be the bait shop that Alf wants, but it's the one he deserves. I reckon he's gonna love it. Yeah, well, if it goes pear-shaped, I was never here. <laughs> Morning! Oh, good day, love. You want a cuppa? Uh, no, no, I can't stay long. I, I just thought I'd um, drop in and um, borrow that cookbook, remember? Yes, yes, of course I remember. So you came here just to get a cookbook? It's a vegetarian one. I, I'm just trying some new recipes at the diner. Oh, all right. All right. See you later. Is everything OK? Ru just asked me to check in on you. Now, do you have a plan? No. I just thought we would watch a movie or something. How do I want to sit around and watch a movie? You know, you need to do something that he wants to do. OK, I suppose you're right. Right about what? Oh, um, nothing. Just never too late to try something new, is it? There oh, we go. Great. All right, well, um, 
I better get these ingredients. Bye. See ya. Okay. So, I was thinking um, we could do something fun together this morning. <laughs> like what? I don't know. What would you like to do? Well, I'd like to sort the stuff that Justin and I dropped at the shed. Oh, do you really have to do that this morning? Yeah, well, it's all the stuff from the bait shop. We've got to get it sorted if I want to open by the oh, end of the week. Sorry, Mr Stewart. Oh, my goodness. I'm having a funny mm -hmm. turn. You all right? Oh, no, I feel really unwell. I feel really dizzy. Yeah, well, just, just sit tight there for a minute. I'll get you some water. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Going for the day. You impressed? How'd you manage that? I can be persuasive. Let me guess you bribed him. Mm, Molly was happy to oblige. He's out delivering boards all day. And what about Abby? He's helping Molly. So we really have the entire place to ourselves? Well, I didn't want anybody to disturb us. Oh. I assume you have the day planned out? Mm hmm you would think so. Mm hmm you? Huh. Let's hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, I was thinking that we could have drinks out in the gazebo area. Mm, romantic. Mm -hmm. Champagne. Of course. Yes, the good stuff for you. Mm. And I was going to take you for the most amazing meal of your life. Wow. Now that is a big call, Doctor. Mm. I'm assuming you've made a booking. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Should we get on to that? Yeah, I should check if we have champagne. <laughs> Just some cold gel. I'm sure you know the drill by now. All right, Harper, let's take a look at your baby boy. Mm, there he is. Wow, he's so big now. We can see baby's heart beating, nice and strong. There's his hand. Oh. <laughs> and that cute little nose. Gosh, he looks exactly like <laughs> There might be some pressure. Let me know if it gets uncomfortable. I'm going to have a nephew. <laughs> You're going to be the coolest auntie a little boy could hope for. Is everything all right? I just need to ask the doctor a question. I'll be right back. Why would she need to see the doctor? Oh, it's probably just routine. Where are you going? I'm going to go check my phone. We're, we're kind of in the middle of something here, mate. Yeah, but I want to check up on Leah. Oh, John? Could you stop thinking about your stomach, okay? She's going to be here in a minute. Yeah, but she might have got lost. Let's just focus. Yeah, morning tea is not the priority. If you ask me, sustenance is the key to productivity. Well, then it's a very good thing that Roo put me in charge because the clock is ticking. Let's get going. Pass me the tape measure. Just because Roo made you the boss does not mean that I am your lackey. I just want the tape measure. Well, feel free to get it yourself. Oh, John, check your pocket. Hey, here hey. she is. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, Had to check on Marilyn. Hey. Oh. <laughs> and has she got Alpha under control? Honestly, I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Back in an egg. Oh, you are the best. Mm. Salami with extra pickle, perfection. Everything all right? It's Marilyn. Need help, come now. You better go. Whoa, 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 whoa. But if you go straight away, won't Alf get sus? Mm. Not if I take him food. Oh. Wish me luck! Oh. There you go, love. Is that all right there? Thank you, Mr Stewart. Obviously, there's no need to make a fuss. You know, you don't look too good. I might just call the doctor. No, 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 don't don't call the doctor. Just you being here is giving me enormous comfort. Hello! Oh. Me again. You're back. What a surprise. Uh, yes, well, I, I was halfway home and I realised I forgot to give this to you. It's a sandwich. 
You came back here to give me a sandwich, something I'm perfectly capable of making myself. Not just any ordinary sandwich. Um, anyway, um, I had a dizzy spell and Mr Stewart was about to go to the caravan park and I had a funny turn. Oh no, you poor thing, are you all right? No, not really, no, I still feel bad. No mm. temperature though. Do you know what? I was dizzy earlier too. Really? Yeah. I think there's something going on. I think there is something going on. You know, I think, you know what, just in case, maybe take it easy. Do you want to go upstairs, put your feet up? You can't be serious. No, I would never forgive myself if you caught something. From us. Yeah, from yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. And I'm, I'm here. I can look after Marilyn. Yeah. You know what, uh, maybe you're right. It is uh, better to be safe than sorry, eh? Mm. Mm. I'll just sing out if I need you, OK? Yeah, right. I will, um, you, 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 uh, take care of yourselves, eh? Yeah. Thanks. Dr. Shaw, is there something wrong? I'm just looking at some shadowing near the lung lining. What does that mean? It means there could be an issue with the baby's lung. How? My baby's healthy, that's what everyone's been telling me. Sometimes this doesn't become visible until baby reaches a certain size. So what happens now? Uh, I will consult with my colleagues, then we'll take it from there. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Hey, 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 hey. Are you certain Al fell for it? Yeah, he was still in his room when we left. <laughs> yeah, so we better hurry up in case he wakes up and finds out we're down here. <laughs> I tell you, I am never going to believe you two girls again. <laughs> yeah, you pair of swindlers. <laughs> Even though it was for a good cause, I um, hate lying to Mr Stewart. Don't look at me like that. You were very good at it. <laughs> we might actually pull this off. I know, by the time Al finds out, it's going to be too late to turn back, so good one, team. High five. He's gonna, he's gonna love it. He's gonna love it. I'm sorry this is happening, but Dr. Shaw is the absolute best. This doesn't make sense. I don't think they're telling me everything. I think that we'll know more once they've reviewed the scans. No, I'm done waiting. I need you to go out there and talk to them. I need answers. They're not going to talk to me. I'm not the patient. You're a nurse. They will talk to you. Please, I need to know the truth. I'll do my best. Fetus is 26 weeks. Neil Pry history with scans. Mother Neil known history. Yes, I'm certain there's a bright spot, a mass-like lesion in the upper left lobe. No, we don't have the resources, and I certainly don't have any experience with this. If you could recommend a specialist who can help me, I'd really appreciate it. And just so we're clear, this is urgent. I'm ready when you are. Wow. <laughs> Worth the wait? Ah, oh, you look stunning. And you, Dr. Fowl, look mighty fine. You know, we should do this more often. I think we're ready to finally get this date started. You know, you still haven't even told me the name of this supposedly amazing restaurant. Well, that's the thing about surprises, isn't it? Right. Are you sure there's nothing I can do to persuade you to give me some detail? <laughs> mm. Mm. It's the hospital. Mm -hmm. Levi Fowler speaking. No, of course, yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. What's happened? Uh, they need me in the obstetrics ward. What? Do you even do obstetrics? No, but they need me for an emergency consult. I'm sorry. I don't even know if I can help, but I gotta go. Yeah, of course. Dr. Shaw is going to be back in a minute, so you can ask her yourself. But I'm asking you, she must have told you something. I didn't actually get to speak to her. But you know something, though, I can see it in your face. Hey, this is my baby, I need to know. I overheard something. And? And it sounded serious. I should, I should call Tony. 
He should be here. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's our boy doing? Papa? Dana. Well, what's going on? Everything all right? We're still at the hospital. Dana, is there something wrong? We just need you to get here as quick as possible. Levi, thanks for coming in at such short notice. All right. What have we got? On routine ultrasound, 26-week gestation, I've seen what looks like a bright spot in the upper left lobe of the lung. The mother, Miss Matheson, has no previous history. Harper Matheson? That's correct. Have you seen anything like this? Certainly not in someone this tiny. We need to get the parents in. Absolutely. Hey. Hey, come here. Can you both please come this way? Good luck. Levi, what are you doing here? I'm sure you must both have a lot of questions, so why don't we take a seat? Someone tell us what's going on? Harper's scans showed a small cyst on the baby's lung. What kind of cyst? Well, we still need to run some more tests. Is it serious? It most certainly can be. You want to be in the middle of the board? Um. What are you doing? I want to record so I remember. Okay, but did you ask for my permission? Hey, Kirby. Are you okay? This isn't like you. Okay, the Kirby I know is bold and unapologetic and a force to be reckoned with. Look, I I'm happy to keep working at the board shop, but I cannot be on the beach anymore. Hang on. The reason why I hired you is to teach the classes. Well, then I quit. Shotgun Milan. What are you? You put a enemy peg here. Check on how we head shot. Round hit put away. Guys, we can talk about the canine. Body shot him away. 